everybody. Well, it's Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Getting a little late. But, uh, yeah. We ended up coming home yesterday from camping. So we only spent one night camping. And when I get into my camping trip, I'll explain all about that and why we only spent one night. But, oh well. I think I did... I did Wednesday on camera, but not Thursday because Thursday, I remember I did a mistake and I did, I wrote Wednesday on Thursday, so I went ahead and wrote Thursday on Wednesday. So I want to do that. Um, and then here's the Friday the 31st. And so I want to go through all that, but um, I think I want to show you my haul video first because we went to, to some thrift we went to one um, thrift store which was Savers in Rochester and then we went to Unique which is on like an offshoot of Savers it's part of the brand family today for their 50% off sale so I thought I'll do that first and show you what I got and then we will get into other stuff but I had a lot of stuff I also went to um, Michael's and so if you were watching this Sandy you will see that um, she asked not Sandy I'm sorry Connie anyway someone has asked me to uh, commi uh, commission a journal for them and it's going to be nature and literature themed it will be um, in oct October and um, because of the literature I was looking for like stuff that would really work well for the literature aspect of it and so I went to Michael's I had a 50% off coupon so I thought perfect if I can find um, some paper with some of the elements I want and this is Tim Holtz's uh, it's called paper stash memorandum here we go memoranda is the name of this collection and so I thought well that's perfect because that's pretty much about writing so um, I can use these I'm going to use them as pages and then I'm going to use some of the parts to cut out because they are, I mean, some of the pages, but like because of the typewriter. So for the literature thing, I'll be making something with that. And I saw um, fountain pens, um, which was another thing. Let's see if I can find the fountain pen. It's really beautiful, beautiful paper. It's so pretty and I got it half off so I was super happy about that but uh, when I saw the typewriter and the pen then I knew that this was the right paper set that I wanted um, and lots of writing stuff so I think it's I think it's really cool and you'll get to see me make this in October but now do you think oh here we go see here's like the nibs for the fountain pens Looks so cool. So yeah, there's these little things that I thought would be perfect um, in this particular set. So that was one. I got some material. I got this material. This is like a dishcloth or something, but it has this beautiful dogwood on it. And I thought that would make a really beautiful, either a flip in a book or um, the cover like to decorate the cover so I was super excited to see that and I like the material so yeah and then I saw this material and I can use this quite extensively um, throughout this was only $2.99 for this big piece of material um, quite extensively for flips in my journals because just look I'm just going to show you some of the pieces so very um, perfect for just that whole um, nature theme see it's just 
absolutely stunning. Huge piece of material. Um, like, I don't even know the size, but it's going to provide a really, really good um, journal embellishments and additions to the covers and such. So I'm super, I'm super excited about this, this particular material. So that was another lovely thrift store find, as was that. That was my Saturday plus two books, uh, A Time for Poetry. And this was a school book, um, and this is, I already gutted it, 1959. So, because I like the cover, so I want to use the cover. The color is perfect. I am going to need some reinforcing because it's slid here a little bit. And poems, which is perfect because I did want some poems. So that will be really good, I think, too. And then this cover which I think I'm going to use for the one I'm doing for the Connie for the writing, the one I'm going to do because I felt like it had a good, a wide enough spine and it's blue and then I can decorate it. So I think that will work out quite well. Um, then today when I went, I got a couple more things for journals. I got this great big one. This is the Doctor's Mayo. And uh, so funny, oh my gosh. St. Mary's Hospital. I mean, this is down, the Mayo Clinic is in Rochester, so that's not that far. And my uh, aunt, one of my great aunts, both of them were nuns, but they were of the uh, St. Francis order. Wow, and this, wow, this is really kind of cool and stuff. This was before their time though. She was born in the early 1900s and this looks like this was 1893. So probably before Assisi Heights. Oh gosh, there's a tornado picture from a tornado. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. Wow. Very cool. Anyway, there's pictures. There's actually pictures throughout from what I could see. Yeah, there's more pictures. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So I will gut that and this will make a very thick, very thick book, and I thought I would like to try a thick book, so that's why I got it. I also found this, I was super excited because this is from Marjolaine Bastine, and I thought it's in good shape. Um, it's actually, as you can see, it's a, a photo album, but I want to make a journal, a ring-bound journal out of it. So I'll either make it ring-bound or um, I've taken these off before. I will take off the rings and it will be a gorgeous cover for uh, a journal. Okay, so then I got, I will show you all my other things, but I got this because everything today was 50% off, so this bag only cost me $5. And here's why I like it. It's got this pouch and I like it and it's got this pouch and a zipper pocket, of course, because I can fit several of my um, traveler's notebook journals in here and like be able to take them with me with some pens. Because it doesn't matter if it's like that, because this has that extra space, but I can put them down or like this and take some with me when I want to take some to write. So I just thought that looked like a really good type of bag that would work for um, traveler's notebooks. So I grabbed that. Then I got this, which I was super happy about because I'm always looking for this stuff at thrift stores. And they had two bags of these things that I'm always on the hunt for, especially the seam binding because I love to use seam binding for my journals. 
So I've got green and yellow. Here's that beautiful thin stuff that I love. And this is the blue. Um, this is a thicker, a little different because this is maxi piping. <laughs> so that's different. Some red and some uh, kind of a melon color. That looks pretty old too, doesn't it? What's the cost? This one doesn't say the cost, but 1922 is the copyright. So I'm not sure, but I think it's pretty old. Safe to say it's pretty old. Then I got some more. Dark blue, brown. Here's some more that's super thin. I just love, love, love that. Um, let's see what else I got. I got some piping of the green. This stuff, oh, this is awful. I'm going to use this thing. Not that stuff because it's horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> More green piping. Um, here's some of the lace edging, and I use that quite a bit. That's a thicker one there. Here's another, and here's a pretty blue. So I got a really good amount. Super thrilled. The other thing that was in there, there was some sequins. Some of these I'm just going to use in my journal. This uh, apple and strawberry. Kind of weird. <laughs> 35 cents. Who even knows where this stuff came from? You get right? I mean, Lord knows. Uh, okay, so we have an apple and a strawberry. Um, and some kind of little bee. And since it's stuck on this card, I think I'm going to leave it stuck on the card because it is kind of cute. Like, anyway, I, I'm going to stick them in my journals because I don't know what else to do with them. Here's another 39 cents for these little beads or rhinestones. So on rhinestones. So, yeah, kinds of interesting bits and pieces of stuff. All right, um, and then I went, oh, and then I went, I got some washcloths at Walmart, <laughs> and this ribbon was around them. And these were like super cheap washcloths. And, but the ribbon's great, so the ribbon. And then I went to SR Harris, and I, when I sold my last, journal and then of course my work uh, for the month with the blog stuff I do I had enough to really spend because at SR Harrison get the trims now SR Harris is not cheap so I mean it's cheap but it's still I bought so many different kinds and some like this bag of leather pieces was ten dollars and the laces were anywhere from 75 cents a yard up to three dollars a yard and then these are the little applique pieces, which were like a dollar a piece and some charms. But anyway, 60 bucks for all this. But um, I've been needing to get a few more laces and things. So I figured I finally got enough money to just go do that. So I did it. Here's the, I want to show you these pieces of leather. So here's a really thin one. Look at this. And I really like the way it feels and the way it looks. And they're just remnants. So I like the remnants because I can use them as little bits of embellishing on my journals. So I do that quite often. Um, here's another one. This one's a little different. I really like this one too. They just make good embellishments and they're thin and that's what you want. Here's another bigger piece. So lovely. Sometimes on something like this, I might even just use the back side instead of the front, just because of how how it feels. It just feels so good. So that's another uh, piece. And then the other remnant is this one. This looks like a sleeve off of a coat. You never know what they have. This is a sleeve off of a jacket. <laughs> But I can take it and just look at this. 
so I'm quite happy with that too. So the bags, the bags of the remnants are interesting to say the least, but they do come in quite handy. So that I got was, and that will last me. I won't need to get any leather for a long time because I use um, such small amounts on what I do that it's not going to be a problem. I'm just going to see if this came off. If I could peel this off to stick on my journal. Yeah, good enough. Okay. That. And then we've got laces. Oh, the laces are amazing. Look at this one. This is a really thick trim and the color the color is just perfect and then I got this one and I got one to two yards uh, the more expensive ones I got a yard the leader, lesser I got two yards and this one this purple I like this and we have this I like the crocheted ones. This one I love, 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 love. <laughs> Just look at it. Oh, it's so fantastic. When I saw that, I was like, that's the best. And then this bag, look at how pretty this is. It's so pretty. Just love it. So that, and here's this, um, is a crocheted light blue, more of a teal. I have a dark blue I bought at another time. Here's kind of a different country green, I guess you would call it. And a yellow with sequins. I love this. See this? This would be like perfect for pockets. I just, I love it. It's so rustic. It has kind of a rustic feel to it. Here's something very different, but I really liked it as well. And this, I'm in love, I'm in love, love, love. Look at how beautiful. So delicate and so pretty. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So nice. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so that, and then I'm gonna show you the little pieces. Here are the other things. So let me pull these out and I can show you the charms. I got some thread too. Well, it was there, of course. Here's the charm. So there's two, I think there's just two or three, three kinds. So here's a date like a flower, and this is the same flower, but one, I guess they're exactly the same. I was thinking, yeah, there's one with more of a gold. So there's that color, and then there's more of a gold. And then I got some of these. I only got 10, it was like 10, 10 cents a piece. But isn't that cool? I really liked that. Then I got these butterflies. These applique butterflies were 50 cents a piece. And I was super happy when I found them because they look more realistic to me than others I've seen. So I got five of those. I got this, I really like that. Um, I got this little piece. And I got this. This is really cool. This would actually probably go super well on my that fairy one I'm doing because of the, the color. So I might leave that out and uh, take a look and see what I think. Um, there's this, and this also I thought of for the fairy one just because of the coloring in it. And so that was also for the fairy. And this one just for nature journals. Oh, and then, oops, there's another butterfly. So let me put them in there. And I'm gonna just set these on top and put these like this so I don't lose them. And then this last piece, oh, I forgot this piece. 
piece of um, trim. So I'm super happy with what I got. They have so many, so many trims. I, like even just trying to pick something is really, whew. <laughs> okay, so we're going 20 minutes. That's pretty good. So I probably should do a little bit of this. Finish this up and then we will be done with September. So Thursday, what did we do? Feels like so long ago. It was a sunny day and it was actually a very nice day. It only got to 78. I made it to 30 minutes on the arc at Planet Fitness. So I'm super happy. So that means now I'll do like 30 minutes at the level I'm at for a week and then I'm gonna up like the elevation or the you know I'll, I'll up the workout but keep it at 30 minutes and then I did a process video before work that was these days before um, what else did we do oh work Thursday it was the last day of the work week for me because we had Friday off but we had done invent the guys had done inventory in the back and so I spent the whole whole day Thursday entering inventory amounts. Um so well uh, that was crazy. <laughs> that was my entire day. And I managed to get done right before work ended. Um and then we got home and we went and picked up the trailer and got groceries for camping. So that actually took a while. And then when we got back from that, we had to go to the Mall of America and pick up my brother-in-law's car to keep it here until they got back from Texas and they picked it up today. Um, so yeah, I was getting so late. I think, yeah, it was nine o'clock at night by the time we got home and I was like, I'm not packing, I'm too tired. We watched an episode of the Pinkertons and I read a very little bit and went to bed because, oh my gosh. Yeah, you can get long, you know. So I don't think, I think everything I have as far as ephemera was from my, from my camping trip. So I don't see any ephemera that was not camping. So I actually don't have anything to put in here. So I'm just going to collage, I guess. Oh, well, I did feed, get Monty already, and I can put this in. I got these at um, Aldi, dark chocolate coconut covered coconut almonds um those are really good so I should probably I can cut this out and put this in here because I I need something for my book right <laughs> let's just do this so yeah so this day today what even today was even long just because you know I mean, here it's already like 3.30 and I've only just now gotten to do this. And this is Sunday. And uh, like I said, we're back because camping weather was not the most cooperative. So we had to, you know, make some adjustments to our camping, unfortunately. And one of them was coming home after spending only a night camping when we had three nights reserved, so that actually was pretty disappointing. I didn't want to have to come home, but what are you gonna do? Sometimes you just have to, right? This is a chew. Uh, this is like the Indian, that little miniature Indian corn is really what this is like. And my little hamster, Monty, loves this stuff. And Monty's out rolling around in his bowl, his little ball somewhere. And I was thinking that it would be really good to bring him in here and let you see him. But I'm not sure where he is. So let me go see if I can find him really fast. I'll show a little Monty to you because here he is. Um, I brought his bowl, so I'm gonna let him out in his bowl, and then I'm gonna put him away. But let me let me get him out. He'll come out in his bowl. Come on, come on. 
You can do it. Come on. <laughs> there he is. Isn't he cute? Hi. Hey, Monty. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. He's so sweet, isn't he? He's like, I want to eat my mealworms. Okay, I'm going to go put him in his... I'm going to go put him in his cage. But there he is. He's such a cutie pie. Come on, Monty. Hi. Hi. Yeah. He's so little. Isn't he cute? Okay. I thought you guys would enjoy seeing him. So I'm going to go put him back where he belongs. <laughs> He's a happy little guy. When I was packing for what I was going to do camping, I came across a pouch full of stuff from other outings, like to the mall and stuff that I had collected the ephemera for, but then I didn't like use it in anything. So I guess I must have set it aside to save it or something. I don't know, honestly, but apparently <laughs> I, I have a ton of it. I don't know. So I have to go through that. Tomorrow we're going to be home all day, I think, unless we end up doing a picnic with my in-laws. So we'll see. Who knows? So tomorrow, tomorrow, I am hoping to spend a lot of time here in my craft room. I really want to finish the journal for Connie. That's like top of the list of things I want to do. So hopefully... Hopefully that works, because that's the plan. I'm going to just do this here, because why not? And let's just put that down there so it sticks. And then I'll probably put some washi. Probably some washi, right? Let's put a little... Find some washi and put that on. Probably... Is this thing still taping? Yeah. Probably I'm just going to have to stop this and come back but like I said there's not a lot um I just didn't have a lot of ephemera for this day and and even for the last I had ephemera but a lot of it's just gonna stay um for my camping journal which I hope to show you guys as well I do want to do that this has nothing to do with anything but I think I'm just gonna put it in here just because I have it and why not since I have nothing when I have nothing I gotta do do what I can right I'm washing clothes today too because even though we only camped one night for some reason it looked like we had enough clothes for an army I guess that always happens seems like Okay, let's see if I can find this beginning of this tape. Want to just put some more little pieces. I I like this one. This is this is a kind of a, it's a plastic tape, but it's really cool, and I do like it. So I might as well use it. I've had it for a long time. I do try to use things and not just like hang on to them forever and ever. Though sometimes they do get hung on to forever and ever. Okay, so really um, the only other thing I suppose I could just swing this around, do this here. Because of those red vegetables are great. So let's let's just do this. Peppers, all kinds of peppers. It's kind of cool. And if I fold it like that, so that takes care of that page. 
that one's done. And then the last one, there's really not a lot. Um, I think, was there anything I could put on this last page? Well, we did go to the those thrift stores. So unique, unique savers. We did the savers. So I could put the savers ones in because that I did, you know, in Rochester. So savers and savers and so yeah four things let's see two books two pieces of cloth <laughs> pretty good it's kind of like the match the stamp books from years and years and years ago all right so at least we got something right and I think we'll just go ahead and put on another I'm almost done with these pictures from the seed catalogs. I've got like, after this, I've only got one more. But you know, I like to put them on because I think they look nice. And I might as well just finish her up. <laughs> Go out strong, right? Then we'll do a flip through of this and do a few a few other things I need some coffee <laughs> my laundry's almost done so I'm just kind of you know that's kind of how it is make sure that's done up good and that it folds here and I'm thinking we want to use that washi tape just to kind of hold things down. Oh, and owls. Oh my goodness. We need owls. But I'm just going to do this because that sticks up quite a bit and um, I don't want it to like come apart on me. And we'll do this one here. So I think that's pretty good actually. Yeah, and then we just got to throw a couple owls on the two pages and really we're done. So if this thing turns off on me, I do apologize because I never know quite for sure how long my thing is going to record before it decides it's had enough and wants to be done. But yes, yes, we're good, we're good. And the month is done, so good news. And I'm very happy I got that done, and um, owls, I knew there was something, I'm like, I keep saying owls, I need to get the owls on. Since we're done, I'm gonna use puffy owls, because now I don't have to worry about the space. Thursday. So let's use this big old puffy owl right here in the middle. <laughs> and then let's use this little yellow owl right here. I mean, why not, right? And <laughs> I know, it bulks it up. It bulks it up. It just does. And we'll use this little pinky guy down here. And Let's go ahead and put Mr. Blue up here. Okay. I know. I just figured, yeah, why not? Why not? We have some branches, too. I don't see that. That's kind of cool. Might as well use up every little bit, right? Okay. So done. It's done. So the next thing is going to be the flip through of my... August notebook and then we will get ready to do Saturday and Sunday in this one so I'm super excited about all that thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a good weekend bye